and parts of New Jersey were also hit hard by the storm. In Toms River, Ocean County, the weight of the snow caused the partial collapse of an indoor sports facility. CBS 2's Thalia Perez has more. The partial collapse of the roof took place earlier today, and authorities took to Facebook saying they are addressing the situation. It's still unclear, though, the future of the winter track season. This storm pounded the Jersey Shore, and this is just one example of how strong it was with the combination of snow, wind, and ice. 21 inches of snow dumped on Ocean County, causing treacherous conditions on the roads. Salt spreaders and snow plows were out on the main roads trying to keep up with it. I'm pretty surprised of how late the plows were out. I'm not going to say, like, they didn't plow our parking lots or our streets. And to be honest, I'm afraid about tomorrow morning. Some, like Stephanie Reich, were spending the afternoon digging themselves out. We've only been in this area about two years, but we don't typically get this much snow. So it's been, it's been a lot. I got drifts in my yard higher than me. Some neighbors were taking it in stride and went food shopping. This is the most snow we've had in two years. As with any storm, the toughest part is keeping up with it and clearing out all the snow on every roadway and walkway. On Atlantic City Boulevard, we found plenty of sidewalks that were not shoveled hours after the snowfall had stopped. Doug LaPerry was left with nowhere to walk but the street. It kind of stinks. Uh, expected a little bit more, but uh, I guess it's just uh, very tough on uh, the township. You know, the borough, piece of borough, uh, the streets and, and the uh, walkways. And while snow crews are still out working to clear the roadways, keep in mind there are plenty of snow drifts in Ocean County. Some roads are even impassable. Authorities are just urging everyone to stay home. Reporting from Tom's River, Thalia Perez, CBS 2 News.